All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 Part 81. And we are almost done with the Badlands and ready to go back into the city for the what might be the remainder of the game. I'm not entirely sure on that, so I shouldn't be saying that like I know what I'm talking about. But, you know, there's a good chance that we are done with the Badlands after this. We do have new items. <clears throat> what do we got here? This could be better, feasibly. I kind of like the color a little more. That is just better, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Let's do it. Snakeskin cowboy hat, okay. Alright, we'll get rid of all that. It's good. Uh, actually, we'll get rid of all the white mod slots, too. We don't need the white ones. They're not very good. Though, armor 36 isn't awful. Alright. Now the jacket. Oh, boy. <clears throat> that is a lot more armor. Stamina cost and melee attacks doesn't hurt either. I don't hate that. It's a little weird looking, but I don't hate it at the same time. We don't need more street cred, but could we get rid of that for something else? Explosion damage reduction? Now see, if we did this, we don't need street cred multiplier. I'm okay with destroying that, honestly. We could destroy that and I wouldn't bat an eye. Yeah. If we did this, <coughs> it kind of fits our current look. Gives us some of the explosion damage reduction that this was giving. Okay. Alright, alright. I believe that currently, uh, we... Manage to salvage stuff from things we disassemble. Crafting. Uh, let's go ahead and take that real quick. Uh, F. Uh, disassembling items, you get uh, attached mods back. Yeah, okay. So if we disassemble this, we'll get those pieces back, which is good. Yeah, I'm down for that. Which means we don't necessarily need that, but we'll hold on to it. And we can get rid of the rest of these. Okay. Then for shirt... Hmm. <laughs> Ugh. Explosion damage reduction is just so good. Because that's usually what'll do you in. It's only at 52 right now. I kind of... Yeah, I think I am actually going to do this. I know we're going to lose the tenacity piece, but we don't need it. We'll be alright. There we go. Now we should be back up to 66. Explosion damage reduction, so we only take a third of damage from explosions. That's much better. Okay. Then we can disassemble this shirt we don't need. Glasses. We don't need weapon zoom, thanks. Nope. No, that looks ridiculous. Ooh, I kind of like how that looks, though. Explosion damage reduction! <laughs> Do it! Can't be stopped. I doubt we have new pants. Alright. So, we're good on that. Shoes. No. Alright. Okay. All right, looks like we're set to go. So I went ahead and drove to right next to this Assault in Progress, like I said I would. And then we'll be able to grab this Assault in Progress and then go to the Aldecaldo camp. It is way late. It is, uh, uh, one in the morning. So we need to sleep soon, for sure. This thing's probably going to be a problem for us. Go ahead and get the hands out. They're not ready for these hands. <laughs> oh my god. I got scared by the explosion. I don't think we needed to actually use the bounce back there, but better safe than sorry here. And there you have it. They were not ready to be able to catch these hands.
Um, skill shard for annihilation again. Nice. We like that. Let's read this first before we grab the next one. Tracked another bug. Area and link secured. All enemy personnel neutralized. Neutralized. Search the area, collect data, and see if you can find any more of the bastards. The raids need to vanish for good. Copy that. Read it quick, ain't, ain't good. Boss got that Militech broadcast, and to be blunt, it's fucked. They're moving into the Badlands, want to take over the whole region. The orders I managed to decipher say they want to push us even further into, from the city. Main objective is to secure the border, get a handle on smuggling, so they're back tilting at windmills again. Interesting. He's Militech, so I'll let him live, I guess. The sole survivor. Five fifty five seven A B D. All right, let's loot this robot if we can. Guess not. Don't worry about it. And we are just about done here. The final assault in progress before we just get to go to the Aldecaldo camp and get back to the city. I'm amped. Honestly, I'm so excited for this. I am really, really looking forward I love these race cars. I am really looking forward to getting back into the city. I love it in there. And we'll actually be able to do real gigs again. Because as, for as profitable and good experience all these assaults in progress in a row have been, they're just not as fun as the bigger gigs, you know? We haven't bought any new car or apartment recently. I'm ready to get back to the good stuff. And this Alda Caldo camp mission, I also am excited for because usually anything that involves Pan Am is like a whole thing that, they, that uh, CD Projekt Red likes to spend a lot of time on, from what I've seen so far. Woo! That's a lot of trees we're taking out. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go Wraith Cars, they're ready. This is some Mad Max stuff right here. Taking out so many, so much plant life. Yikes. Maybe we should stop trying. Maybe we should start avoiding that. There's only so much plant life around Night City already. Maybe eliminating more of it's not the best. Maybe it's not in our best interest. So maybe I'll make more of an effort to avoid that from now on. Like that. Perfect. We parked in a hostile area. More Militech again? Yeah, okay. Get our hands out here. Oop. Close. Holy shit. They just killed a guy. We're not taking that. We're not letting you do that. Nope. That was messed up. Damn it, if we'd have just been faster. What was this? Why did they do that? Yo, this is jacked up. Were they smuggling? Even if they were, like... Man shot him execution style. Man wasn't a threat anymore. That was crazy. Chase is underway. We have a visual. Neutralize targets. Neutralize? Really? Could just detain them. Write in the report that you found them dead. There was an accident. We won't take them without a fight. There will be bullet marks. What? So now you're a fucking coroner? Sergeant, I just observed an accident. All fugitives were killed. Much better. Copy that. Wow. That is so messed up. Wow. Skill shard and athletics, we love that. Athletics can be a pain to level up. A lot of skill shards in the Badlands though, so that's been good. What now? Caught Arvin at the border, gotta help him. Meaning I gotta, not you? You know I can't. Told you all not to move till the cargo, move the cargo along that route. I know, but it is what it is. Help me out. Shit, where are they holding him? The new Militech Detention Center, one by the border. Okay, yeah, I know the one. No chance, we'll never get through. Too many soldiers. We've got inside intel. We have maps. We know when they go on their breaks when their numbers drop. Well, alright. Yeah, they didn't go well. Alright, let's get to Pan Am. That was the last assault in progress out here. We're ready for some real... <laughs> for a real gig. Something real to do. And it's 2 in the morning, so if we end up getting some sleep too, that'd be great. 
Man, do we need some sleep. Excuse me? I like how he honked at us as we drove by. <laughs> Here we are. Oop, avoid the cactus. Alright, here we are. Showing up in a Wraith car. They're like, what? What the hell, Bobby? What? Talk to Pan Am, Mitch, and Saul. Okay. They're hanging out up there. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. You're here. Yep, at two in the morning. What Sorry about that. I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Forbade Pan Am from doing something? Forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Not our business. We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit. Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica job was a bust. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. For the best. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Uh -huh. Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. Hmm. Sorry, I'm drinking. <laughs> What's this about a basilisk? What's this basilisk <laughs> nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right <laughs> past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, your idea? Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe <laughs> he is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. <coughs> Family. Worth a fight with Saul? This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. <laughs> Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember when you told me to give you a good kick in the pants? Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. <laughs> that rescue mission. Someone from the family. No, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Just letting you know, it was something you wanted me to say. So what's Saul's problem with it? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. What a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. Thought you and Saul were getting along. Thought you and Saul had agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. So what's the plan? And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go talk to the rest. Ah, uh, you know I will. I don't think I'm gonna have an option here. The marriage of heaven and hell. Whoa, that's kind of that's kind of a lot. Uh, the argument. Rintra Aurora's. Oh my God, what is all this? History of the Nomads. That'd have been interesting. 
Uh, Rinchar roars and shakes his fires in the burdened air. Hungry clouds swag on the deep. Once meek and on a perilous path, did man just keep it? The just man kept his course along the vale of death. Roses are planted where thorns grow, and on the barren heath sing the honeybees. Then a perilous path was planted, and a river and a spring on every cliff and tomb. I feel like someone from CG Project Red just wanted to put their poems out there. And on the bleached bones, red clay brought forth, till the villain left the pass of ease. To walk in perilous pass and drive, the just man of barren climbs. What am I reading? Now the sneaking serpent walks in mild humility, and the just man rages in the wilds where lions roam. Rintra roars and shakes his fires in the burdened air, hungry crowds swag on the deep. As a new heaven has begun, it is now thirty-three years since its advent. The eternal hell revives, and lo, Swedenborg is the angel sitting at the tomb. His writings are the linen cloths folded up. Now is the dominion of Edom, and the return of Adam into paradise. See Isaiah 34 and 35, chapter... whatever. Without contraries, there's no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate, are necessary to human existence. From these contraries spring what the religious call good and evil. Good is the passive that obeys reason. Evil is the active, springing from energy. Good is heaven, evil is hell. William Blake. Oh, God, God's green earth did I just read? I understood none of that. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. America is so pro Pan Am right now. I guess he really likes the plan. Is that my car? Oh, the Javelina got driven over here. That's kind of cool. All patched up. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy <laughs> will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, <laughs> sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'm, uh... I'm riding with, I think? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. We can get some shut-eye while we're waiting for this to happen, I think. Getting Pan Am's I think car. I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. <laughs> but are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even am. Oh, there's music? They don't believe in no yes! <laughs> I'm just dancing in my chair. <laughs> Come on. This song is so good. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Look at this squad right here. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. It's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? Oh. A true friend. Yeah, Jackie, my man. Jackie, and I still got Vic. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. Oh, 
remember that. God, this music is so good. We have arrived. I'm gonna miss that music. <laughs> if you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move the engine how? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just... Okay, this is here. Got it. Get the authorization code. <clears throat> okay, let's get to work. All right. You know, V is mad tired right now, though, because it's three in the morning. We haven't slept. Vacation war for huh, gonks. <laughs> yeah, we're, we do quick work. The stairs it is, then. Wait. Talk to the nomads optional. Hold up. Stop. You know I gotta do that. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? I don't have the int for this. Got a use for me? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Panem asked for help? Panem asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. <clears throat> Interesting, isn't it? Is it? I guess. What you doing? What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. <laughs> While Teddy is just being dead weight. Happy to join you in your quest. <laughs> Don't let me interrupt. Stay out of your hair, then. I saw Mitch go this way Even earlier. If we Here pull we it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Well done. Thanks, boys. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. <coughs> something change? Come on, v. We uh -huh. have a to-do list. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going? How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. <laughs> uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Yeah, I can scan. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. These scans Thanks, are me. mad useful. Yeah, no problem. We got those... <laughs> we got the good, uh... The good scans. We talked to the nomads. Yeah, I was gonna say, we did that. Alright. Coming, Pan Am. Stairs it is. <clears throat> A 
there's, there's no time right now. Trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. These are all white, so we've read them before. Perhaps more simply hopeful. Nomads for the thick skin. There's so many entries, you're kidding me. We need to go Carol! higher, right? What are we looking for? Box cards. What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Yes. Sure. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Nothing here. Hmm. Got a punch card. Oh, that wasn't well. too bad. I already found it. Bar Got card something. found. Good job. This is an open window. Carol, How is this place not more ravaged? Have a card. What now? <clears throat> you have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. This thing gotta be. Here goes nothing. Look at that. We did the thing. Hey, Johnny. Little engine that could. <laughs> Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Go for it. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? No, it's important to you. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I. Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. <laughs> Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. <laughs> All right, let's rejoin the others. This is how we treat friends. We expect it in return as well. Maybe you can't do as much as we can, but it's the Convoy. thought that counts. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. The only way we can walk instead of run is if we stay behind her. Pausing? God damn, those hips don't lie, do they? V, do you know where Pan Am is? I'm not her babysitter. I'm crying out loud, I don't care what's going on between you two, I'm just asking. Can't give me a straight answer? When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Uh, Saul's looking for you, Pan Am. Alright, doesn't look like she's interested. <laughs> Yeah, traveling takes a long time when you walk, doesn't it? <laughs> it's easy, but... Man, could we use a nap right now. Are we gonna get a chance for a nap we while we wait? your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. It was like 3 in the morning when we got here. Something like that. Hurry up and wait. Worried about Saul? You worried about Saul? Yo, 
you're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said <laughs> yourself you didn't need any. Ah, uh, true. Gotcha on that one. This is a cool, nice moment right here. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. <laughs> and it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. All right. Let's drink the scorpion, then. Ought to raise a glass to scorpion. To scorpion. Jackie. Thanks, Pan Am. I liked that. Thank you. Alright, finally time for V to get some sleep. Damn, does she need it. This man's just jamming. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Wake me up if anything happens. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you and I nap too. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens the stars, in your library you say. too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. What are you, you talking about? Flickering star to the right? It's way too cloudy to see that. I can barely yeah. see the moon. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Ha ha ha. Good night, V. You're so funny. Man, V needed this sleep right here. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Damn, straight from waking up to it's game time. 5.30 a.m. We only got like two and a half hours of sleep. Two hours of sleep, maybe. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get more sleep later, but at least we got a little shut-eye. We'll say it was a solid two hour nap. Which means we're still due for four more after this, but let's go, game time. Let's get us a basilisk. Are we ready? All right, she's moving. Get her up to speed. Your old combinat. Still has like cars attached to it. Why? Oh god. They drive so close to each other. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming in hauling. Take out that couple. Okay. We're trying. Snow. Snow. There it Shut goes. Up, the damn coupler. I did. 
Can I get rid of that one too? Surround them as soon as they're cut off. This is a thing, isn't it? Get them out of here. Shit. Probably jammed again. We block him off. Good. We did it. We did it. Hell yeah. Let's get our hands out. Ready to punch. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Don't you worry. We're almost home now. Oh yeah, we've got this. They're doomed. And there's this guy. Damn, it is honking, 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 isn't it? Alright, we might not be able to pick up this stuff afterwards, so let's see that while they're winning their fight. Alright, the train's leaving. Better move. God, that's so much honking. Stop. Someone died on the wheel, clearly. Hey, he's still alive. Good for him. Okay, uh, 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 okay, go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm booking it. I promise. I'm coming, Pan Am. I am. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. There she is, huh? I'd say that went really clean. Like, really clean. Fuck, it worked! Of course it did, just as I said it would. Someone can stop that honking, though. <laughs> Nomad camp's gonna be overrun. How's it going there, V? It's something's gotta go wrong. Fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting. Like, looks like it's basically a tank. Again, these nomads really know how to drive really close to each other without crashing into each other. Kind of nuts. Something's got to go wrong. There's no way it's going to go that well. Unless it's this this is like the goodbye to Pan Am. Everything's going to be peachy and okay. perfect. Just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. Perfect timing if you ask me. Yeah, right after we were done with it, true. Come on, camp still be in one piece. Come on, everything's fine in the camp. I see people. I think we're fine, I think we're good. Hell yeah. I think it's not gonna stop, is it? I can talk to Nothing. I'll take care of Oh boy. We'll just have to deal with that, sorry. Let's meet with Saul. There he is. Alright, gentlemen. Lady. Let's go. Fuck! Oh, he's coming to us, okay. Hey, so you have a basilisk now. Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. 
Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> I love the way Cassidy sounds when he talks. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything all right? Everything Look at her okay? scars, I yes, think that is. Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Need me again, let me know. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. Thank God the v. truck's gone. I'm sure <laughs> I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Have a good one, Pan Am. All right. Looks like we're probably gonna have to come back to this again one day. Our own personal place right here? Really? Is there somewhere we can get a little more sleep? An all the caldo tent? Really? Oh, god dang it. Of course the truck is over here. Wow, it actually is. Would you look at that? Just a stash, though. Green. Oh my god. Green Death, we've read. Which was a good read, by the way. Aftermath of the Gomad tragedy. Smuggling. If you want to transport goods, you need contacts. Without contacts, forget about doing business. The Odyssey, we've read. Who you need to pay off? Customs officers, guards, people at the gas stations. Don't forget the motels. You take care of the fall of the bockers. We might need to read that. Um, you take care of that. You can show up and vanish as you please. Keep them happy and they'll know when to turn a blind eye. It's also a good idea to strike a rapport with the fellows from Orbital Air. That is, if you're planning to ship something into orbit. Remember those boxes full of seedlings last year? That could only have happened because my boys at OA Customs looked the other way for 15 seconds. Okay. Make sure you're well equipped. Don't use standard signal jammers. Custom agents aren't stupid. They know you're hiding something at the border. Besides, which are there? Which there? Besides, which there are no models they can't disable. Use upgraded jammers that work hyper locally in the exact place you're hiding the goods. Secure packages with ice, ideally brought from up, bought from us. You can trust family. Use your imagination. Do you know how I managed to transport a few dozen pounds of drugs to SoCal? I paid the right people not to ask any questions and hitched a ride with an all foods convoy. Nobody realized that several containers of food were packed full with drugs. Plan your routes carefully. You have to up-to-date border patrol routes and areas scanned in real-time by corporate satellites. <clears throat> and you have good old American roads. Use back route roads and routes that corporal convoys would rather avoid. You can also dance around those old minefields since the corps don't patrol there anymore. Although apparently by now they know we passed through there and it's only a matter of time. Use the tunnels as a last resort. These days it's usually a one-way trip. You go through one and the second you're out the satellites have a lock on you. So in case you do, step on it. Most of all, brothers and sisters, don't get caught. <laughs> right. True. Um, journal shards. This is still moderate. Play it safe. That was a really late game quest, apparently. Um, any new ones? No? Two new ones. History of the Nomads. Oh, we haven't read this. The first Nomad Code. Protect and respect your clan, especially your family. You are worth as much as your word. Share with others in your clan. Respect the privacy and well-being of your clan. Never put your clan in danger. Always take honest pay for honest work. The new Nomad Code. Protect your family and clan in that order. Do not steal from anyone in your clan. Do not keep for yourself that which may help another in your clan. It's hard to imagine a group less inclined to wandering than farmers, but in fact they were the people who donned the Age of Nomads. Natural catastrophes, crops ravaged by bioplagues, armed conflicts, and martial law allowing corporations to speculate and privatize the land. All this forced them into a life on the road. The first clans recognized as nomadic were the Aldecaldos and the Jodes, followed shortly after by Snake Nation, Thelus Nation, Folk Nation, Blood Nation, and Metacorp, a total of seven nations. The nomad nations are divided into tribes, which are subdivided even further into clans and families. A family typically numbers between 10 and 100 people, while the biggest nations can reach up to a million. At first, nomad activity was seen as anarchistic and subversive, mostly, as you can imagine, by corporations who quickly realized they wouldn't be able to control them. The biggest irony in all of this is that it's thanks to the nomads that our cities were rebuilt after the wars and catastrophes that marked the first half of the 21st century. After all, families come together to build, not to destroy. Fall the Bockers. The indirect cause of the family's weakening in leadership was, paradoxically, not enough internal opposition within the group. Decisions made by Salida Bocker, the charismatic and surprisingly long-lived leader, were made without so much as a grumble and her orders were carried out immediately. Salida led the Bockers with an iron fist. She was a domineering figure. figure. 
perhaps overwhelmingly so, but you couldn't call her a tyrant. Loved and respected by all, toward the end of her life she seemed to regret that nobody in the family tried to take power or at the very least challenge her authority. After her death, the family entered a transition period. Salida's position was occupied successively by Delu Bakker, Lorna Ruiz, and Shari Dalin. None of them led the family for more than two years. Delu died during a skirmish with Rav and Shiv, Lorna resigned, and Shari simply collected her things and disappeared from the camp one day. It seems that the family depended so long on Salida that when she was gone, nobody could make any firm unilateral decisions. The family's subsequent leaders ruled without any conviction, in the words of Trin Bakker, who, like many other young members, left the Bakker family after it decided to merge with Snake Nation. Trin, when I looked at the Lu or Shari, I had the impression they had an invisible sign over their heads that said, What would Salida do? Lorna was ra all right, but she drank too much. <laughs> to be honest, I don't blame her. I think Grandma's heart would break if she saw how quickly her successors went through the family supplies and tore up contracts and agreements with other clans. And the idea to join Snake Nation? We might as well have asked Rasp Raff and Shiv to line us up on the dirt and execute us. What's the difference? That was the true end of the family. That's why I, Ocean, Lil Elam, Afshin, Persia, and others decided to leave. Do you still keep in touch? No. Damn. Okay. Militech and... Map George Johnson safe house. Awaiting further orders. Confiscate all possessions or return to base. Copy. Sergeant, we had to neutralize the woman, the offender's partner. She was here, tempted to attack us. Understood. Dude, they're so heartless. It's crazy. The Odyssey we didn't read. What? Say what Say what thy birth and what the name you bore imposed my parents in the natal hour. Oh no, it's one of these. For from the natal hour, distinctive names will in common right the great and lowly claims. Say from what city, from what regions toss, and what inhabitants these those regions boast. So shalt thou instinct reach the realm assigned, in wondrous ship self-moved instinct with mind. Like... Hel no helm secures their course, no pilot guides. Like man intelligent, they plow the, t plow the tides. Conscious of every coast and every bay that lies beneath the sun's all-seeing ray. Though clouds and darkness fail the encumbered sky, fearless through darkness and through clouds they fly. Though tempest rage, though rolls the swelling main, the seas may roll the tempest rage in vain. Even the star god that o'er the waves presides, safe as they pass and safe to repass the tides. With fury burns, while careless, careless they convey, promiscuous every guest to every bay. These ears have heard my royal sire disclose a dreadful story big with future woes. How Neptune raged, and how by his command, firm rooted in a surge, a ship which should stand, a monument of wrath, how mound down mound should bury these proud towers beneath the ground. But this the gods may frustrate or fulfill, as it suits the purpose of the eternal will. But say through what waste regions hast thou strayed, what customs noted, and what coasts surveyed. Possessed by wild barbarians, feasts in arms, or men whose bosom tender pity warms. Warms. <laughs> Say why the fate of Troy awaked to thy cares, why heaved thy bosom, and why flowed thy tears. From Homer. I feel like I kinda understood this. Bunch of ship talk and going to new lands and stuff like that, but then there were storms. But, uh, if you had to, if you needed me to describe it more than that, no, nah, I'm lost again. Silverhand, the creator and destroyer of samurai. Hidden somewhere between the Arasaka propaganda and Silverhand's own self-curated image, there exists a real story behind the front man of samurai. The fact of the matter is no one truly cared to find it. Labels, legends, slogans to chant, that's all anyone ever wanted from him. But by digging meticulously into all the dirty details of his life, all of the inconsistencies and exaggeration come to light. One of the biggest gaps in Silverhand's life was the period he spent with nomad communities. Hidden from civilization, Johnny could have acted like himself and removed the mask he wears in public. If the world could get testimonies from the people who had contact with Johnny during this period, not only would every biographer be grateful, but more importantly, experts might have a real chance to offer a clinical diagnosis for one of the rock scene's most iconic personalities. Okay. And then we're all caught up on reading. Inventory's still looking pretty light. Well, we have a couple of things I guess we could work on right now. But I think this is where we're going to call this episode, and next time we're going to head back into the city... Maybe do some Delamain, buy some cars, all that other good stuff that, you know, we have to do. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. And V, myself, and who knows what others are going to see all of you next time.